Good evening everyone. Welcome to the bearded Bama bush crafter. I'm down here and I've got a monkey in the trees. We are doing the giveaway. Right Finn? Yeah. He and his brothers need to go take care of the chickens real quick. And I have one of my good friends, Mr. Chathamus. Good afternoon. Chad is the gracious one who has given us the tools, the bill hook machete. We're not giving this particular one away. We have one that is brand new, still in the blister pack. I've kept it safely, hermetically sealed away from the boys so that they would not tear it apart. We're gonna get going with this um, giveaway and I also have a tool fill that I wanna share with you guys, stand by. Okay, in this particular giveaway, with the bill hook knife, we only had four participants. That's fine, we started out with one. And if there were more, I did not see them. I specifically said that you had to type, I'm in, in the, man, got a big jet flying overhead. In the comment section, you needed to uh, like the video and if you weren't subscribing, needed you to go on and hit that subscribe button. These are the four names that I came up with. We've got them all down on little pieces of paper. And we're going to do the drawing here shortly. We're going to take care of shipping and handling. Don't worry about that. I have always been the type of person, and Chad agrees with me. Yes, I do. That if you give away something, you give away. You don't say, I've got something I want to give to you. However, you need to handle shipping and handling. That's not free. So anyway, I want to say thank you. Absolutely. First My of all. honor to help out the Bearded Bamba Bushcrafter. The Bearded Bamba Bushcrafter. This man right here, he's one of my uh, my biggest fans. Absolutely. <laughs> he's a roadie. I am. My roadie. I'm a groupie. He's a groupie. <laughs> I'm a groupie. <laughs> and... Uh, He's already planning the next giveaways. We've got one more going to be coming up. I'm going to give away a more knife. Um, I had said way back. Maybe I was a little overzealous when I first started this channel. And I was going to build my subscription base up. Subscriber base up. And have a brand new more classic that I'm going to give away at 200. We have surpassed 200. What number are we at, 289. Chad? 289. 289 on subscribers. So... As soon as we get um, this giveaway done, we're going to work on the next one. So, guys, y'all stand by. All right. We are Hold doing on. the giveaway. We have the four contestants, and I have my contestant drawer here who's helping us out. We're going to do this. Just pull the name. We'll read the name, and you will be the winner. All right, Finn. Go ahead. Draw it out. Read the name to us, or hand it to me, and I'll read it. Oh, our winner, Jared White. Brother, you won the bill hook. Congratulations. Go. Congratulations. Finley says congratulations too. Jared, I'm going to be getting this bill hook knife sent to you. And I appreciate you. Jared is a big supporter of mine. And uh, I have to give a shout out to him. Thank you, Jared. And I'm, I'm glad you won, brother. All right, I wanted to say congratulations one more time to Jared. And uh, thanks for everyone else who participated. We're going to be doing the next giveaway. I'm going to work on that coming up real soon because we have surpassed 200. Uh, real quick, I wanted to talk about a tool fail. Check this out. I won this machete. This is by Condor. I won this machete off of Instagram. Condor was giving it away, and I entered into it, and I got drawn, and I won. And it's a great machete. The other day, I was up top of the hill using it, cutting some brush back, and I took a moment to take a break, and this piece of wood that I had up by my my fire, where I have a fire sometimes, I had it, it this piece of wood, random piece of wood, check this out. I went to stick the machete into the, the wood, just a simple hit like that, boom, I wasn't hitting it real hard, and this thing snapped like a piece of glass. I was going to try to contact Condor and get their thoughts on it. 
But wow, I, it, it surprised me. Chad, he's a Condor fan too. And I have a couple of tools by Condor. And that surprised me. Um, there must have been... I'm not a blacksmith, but there must have been something with, within this. Some type of a fracture that caused this to fail. Because that was a fail. But anyway, check this out. Finley, that will cut you. Look at this right here. It snapped. Boom, just like... Yeah, hold that up for me, Chad. Just like a piece of glass. Oh, let me get it. And it did just like that. But it still looks good. Yeah. The thing is razor sharp. It does still look good. But anyway, I wanted to share that, guys. Um, tools fail us all the time. That's why you need to get out and use your tools. And bushcrafting. If you're bushcrafting, if you're squatching, if you're giving away stuff, if you're yard working, if you're hiking, if you're... Surveying. Surveying as my good man right here, Chad. This is he he is a professional. He was trained by the United States Army in surveying and how long have you been surveying now? Since nineteen ninety three. Nineteen ninety three. That's four hundred years, folks. <laughs> he actually does a uh a personation living history. I do. Me and, and Dave Swinford, our good friend from Ohio now, who used to be in Georgia, who got me involved in reenacting. Dave, we love you. Uh, we miss you. Yeah, Dave, and, uh, watching this video, we love just, you, brother. We love to do the Colonial Surveying Portrayal. I love to have those kids pull that chain and love to show them the kind of equipment that they use. We have a, uh, a compass that is wooden, and it just has a magnetic needle on it. One of these videos in the future, we'll actually yeah, we'll bring that, that out and show that when I can get it from Dave. Yeah, we have a lot of um, accurate accoutrements to the 18th century. We have muskets, swords, knives. He's got all his surveying it was equipment. Built. That, so. The surveying compass we have was actually handmade. We didn't buy a replica from some manufacturer. There's a gentleman, John Conrad. I'll throw a throw out to John. He's in his 70s. He made that compass for us. So there you have it. We have the real stuff, but 18th century style. All right, guys. Once again, I want to say thank you. Chad, thank you, brother. My pleasure. He supplied the tools that we gave away, the knife that we did it. It was one ten. One. 110 and 150. And then we just did well, the giveaway for 150. We're going to do future giveaways, folks. This is not yeah, the last we one. Carpenter Land Surveying is going to do some more. Stay tuned. Yes, we've got some good giveaways. The, the further we go along, the better the giveaways will, the, the items that we're going to give away, we hope. Um, I think that more knife, those are some of my favorite knives. And Chad's going to get in on this one. I'm allowed to enter this one because <laughs> I didn't sponsor so, it. So he's excited. And, um, who knows who will win? Who knows who will win? But you've got to enter if you want to be a winner. And uh, we only had four contestants. And, Jared, you're the winner. Finley's still hanging around down here, climbing the trees. Uh, been having some good uh, feedback on a lot of my uh, past videos. I'll say a lot of my, on a couple of my past videos. And having a lot of people um, really interested in some of the subjects that I've been talking about. And that's kind of interesting. A lot of comments and um, got some more videos coming up on the same subject and going to do some more bushcrafting videos here. Um, a couple of my buddies the other night were mentioning some things to go over and hopefully here within the next few days, we're going to post another video. But thank you guys once again. I appreciate every one of you. I'm going to hit this like button, subscribe if you're not subscribing and share these videos. Uh, tell people about us and we appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys. See you.